Today, we live in a world where technology and culture define our existence. But have you ever wondered how we arrived here? Our journey began around 7 million years ago with one of the earliest ancestors of humans. From the small-brained Sahelanthropus to the advanced Homo sapiens we are today, this 7 million year journey marks a profound transformation in our biology, intelligence, and social behavior. Let's explore how this evolution took place. Part 1. Sahelanthropus, the first step. Approximately 7 million years ago, a species appeared in Central Africa. This was Sahelanthropus chidensis, one of the earliest human ancestors. Fossils of this hominin were discovered in Chad, and although we know little about their behaviors, the features of their skull suggest some key evolutionary traits. With a small brain size of around 350 cubic centimeters, about half the size of the modern human brain, Sahelanthropus still shows signs of bipedalism. This means they likely walked on two legs, a key characteristic of the human lineage. What makes Sahelanthropus stand out is its posture. Despite having a small brain, this early hominin had a more forward-facing form and magnum, indicating it may have been capable of walking upright. This is a major step in the evolution of humans, as bipedalism would become one of the defining features of the human family tree. Part 2. Australopithecus Walking Toward Humanity Fast forward a few million years and we encounter the genus Australopithecus, which lived between 4 and 2 million years ago. Australopithecus includes famous species like Australopithecus afarensis, known from the famous Lucy fossil. These hominins were much more adapted to walking upright than Sahelanthropus. Australopithecines had brains larger than Sahelanthropus but still much smaller than modern humans, ranging from 350 to 550 cubic centimeters. However, their physical features, such as long arms and curved fingers, showed they were still adapted to climbing trees. This suggests they were likely comfortable in both terrestrial and arboreal environments. Lucy, discovered in Ethiopia in 1974, is one of the most significant fossils of Australopithecus afarensis. At just over three feet tall, Lucy's skeleton showed clear evidence of bipedalism, although her pelvis and leg bones indicated that she could also climb trees. Her discovery helped establish that walking upright was a critical development in human evolution. Part three, Homo habilis toolmaker. Around 2.4 million years ago, a new genus appeared, Homo, the group to which modern humans belong. One of the earliest members of this genus was Homo habilis, whose name means handyman, a reference to the tools they created. Homo habilis had a brain size of about 510 to 600 cubic centimeters, larger than Australopithecus marking the beginning of significant brain expansion in the human lineage. They are credited with being the first known tool users, crafting stone tools to help with tasks such as hunting, butchering, and perhaps even processing plant material. Using tools marked a turning point in human evolution. It allowed early humans to manipulate their environment more effectively providing new ways to obtain food and survive. This cognitive leap toward tool making is seen as one of the key steps toward the development of human intelligence. Part four, Homo erectus, master of fire. By 1.9 million years ago, Homo erectus emerged, a species that would go on to dominate the earth for nearly two million years. Homo erectus was the first human ancestor to exhibit many traits we associate with modern humans. Compared to Homo habilis, Homo erectus had a larger brain, ranging from 600 
to 1,100 cubic centimeters. They were also fully bipedal, with long legs and shorter arms, more suited for endurance running and walking. But the most groundbreaking development of Homo erectus was the control of fire. Evidence shows that Homo erectus mastered fire, allowing them to cook food, stay warm, and ward off predators. This not only increased their chances of survival, but also facilitated social bonding as groups could gather around the fire, communicate, and share food. Fire was a game changer for Homo erectus, leading to advancements in both survival and social behavior. Part five, Neanderthals and the rise of Homo sapiens. As Homo erectus continued to evolve, another species emerged in Europe and Asia, Homo neanderthalensis, or Neanderthals. Neanderthals were closely related to modern humans living between 400,000 and 40,000 years ago. They had robust bodies, large brains, and used tools just like us. Neanderthals were skilled hunters and were known to bury their dead and perhaps even engage in ritualistic practices. However, despite their similarities to Homo sapiens, Neanderthals eventually went extinct. Some theories suggest climate change, competition with early Homo sapiens, and possibly interbreeding contributed to their demise. Around 300,000 years ago, Homo sapiens evolved in Africa, with larger brains averaging 1,300 to 1,500 cubic centimeters. Modern humans developed advanced tools, art, language, and complex social structures, enabling them to thrive across the globe. Homo sapiens eventually spread out of Africa, replacing other hominid species, including the Neanderthals. The journey from Sahelanthropus to Homo sapiens was not a linear path, but a series of key evolutionary milestones that ultimately led to the modern human we are today. From walking upright to mastering fire, creating tools and developing culture, each step along this path brought us closer to our present form. Our journey didn't just shape our bodies, it shaped the very essence of who we are as human beings. And, and the story is still unfolding.